Hi everybody, welcome back to Harry's Music Room. Thanks for stopping in. Um, initially, I wasn't sure if I wanted to do this video because so many people have already done, um, you know, an AB for uh, Pretzel Logic, the new UHQR pressing. But then I thought, you know, the more information that's out there, the better it is for the person that wants to make a decision on if they should buy this record. You know, it's a $150 record. An original, maybe in near mint condition. I, I don't know, 25, 30 bucks, maybe. I'm not sure. But anyways, uh, I got my copy today. No, oh, and by the way, my two favorite, two of my favorite things, the Seattle Seahawks and the Grateful Dead. Football's back, yeah. Um... So, I got the album in the mail today. I did an A-B. Um, I, I only did the first song. Ricky, don't lose that number. I haven't done the entire album song for song. I started with, I started out playing the UHQR. Beautiful packaging. Love the box. <laughs> um, it's got a nice little slip case. And I think the reason they do this is that when you put this record into your shelf, you don't have to remove it. All you have to do is slide this out and get the record out. And, and that's actually a pretty good idea. But inside, of course, you get the album. A beautiful, beautiful, this is that. Stoughton cover. I'm assuming it's Stoughton. You get a certificate with it. You've got your ultra quiet vinyl which i'm going to talk about in a moment and then you get a few other things thrown in there for 150 bucks and when i put this record on initially i thought that sounds kind of noisy right at the very beginning and then as the music progressed it was fine but at the very beginning it was it was noticeably noisy so um, I finished the song, I put on my other copy, and while my other copy was playing, I ran the UHQR through the Hum Guru. And then when uh, it was done, I put it back on, and it was still noisy in the exact same spots. It didn't make any difference. So I don't know if I'm going to, I'll listen to the entire album and see how it is. And if that's the only issue, then I'm okay with that. So anyways, let's get into what did I think of it. Um, I'm going to start with this. Um, this is an autograph copy. I picked this up from a fellow autograph collector in Seattle probably 20 years ago. Um, he was a lawyer, and he did work for... Uh, Gary Crow and Mike West, who were two DJs, I think they were on KZOK uh, FM radio in Seattle, and um, this lawyer would do work for them, and in return, some of the things he would get from them were autograph records that they got at the station. Now, I have no way of telling if this is authentic or not. I got it from him, so that's all I know. Um, I did get some cool stuff from him, though. I had a promotional 12 inch heart single that ann wilson put her lipsticks on there the white vinyl or the white cardboard and there was a phone number written on it i have no idea what that was all about um but anyways this is a german pressing i do not have an original uh u.s pressing of this this is Right there. So my initial take. Um, the verses have minimal sound stage. Starts out with some nice sound stage, and then as soon as the vocals come in, it seems like everything moves to the center. Um, it's very detailed. You can hear all the instruments. It sounds nice. Very good. Um, but it does all just sort of compress to the center with very little sound stage. As soon as the chorus comes in, we get a full sound stage. Sounds really nice. Um, 
in the right channel I think it's a hi-hat as soon as the chorus comes in you hear this hi-hat and it sounds real crisp and clear and then as the chorus progresses it sounds more muddier and muddier like it's buried in the mix so um, I was really keying in on that when I went back and listened to the UHQR um, like I said very detailed instruments sound great um, really no complaints with that record uh, being a I don't know how it compares to a US pressing but the German pressing sounded very good to me um, my particular copy of that is a very noisy record though um, and that's I don't know if that's suppressing or what but um, I wouldn't use that as my primary record to play the only reason I keep it is because it has the signatures so then we went to the UHQR um, ran it through the humming guru put it on no difference so um, as far as the verse exactly the same it starts out with a nice sound stage moves to the center the chorus same thing opens up again uh, in all honesty I could hear very little difference between the two if I had to give an edge I would give it to the UHQR just a little bit to, in my opinion a little bit crisper a little cleaner sound very small difference though so the question is is it worth $150 if you don't have it already or should you seek out the 30 35 dollar original pressing I would say go for the original for the for the for the price of your pain I would go with the original um, main reason I bought this after hearing other people's reviews is because I already had the UHQR countdown the ecstasy and can't buy a thrill I'm just going to complete the whole series um, so anyways I hope that helps you make a decision on if you want this or not uh, it's a great album it's my favorite Steely Dan album so uh, until next time thank you for watching it's much appreciated and uh, see you down the line ciao